So over here in lossless cut, you can see that I already have a video I can scrub through right here. If you want to be very precise, you can go ahead and seek out through frame. So for that, right beside the play menu right here, you can see that there's the one frame forward. If I were to click on it, it goes on to the next image, as you can see right here. So videos are actually made up of multiple images, which is binded together and uh, played through to make it seem as if it's a video. So if I were to click on it, you can see that it just skips on to the next image. And that is what frame seeking is, just like this. But besides frame seeking, you can also see keyframes inside of lossless cut. So for that, I'm just going to go around and click on the so keyframe option. So keyframes uh, are a sort of the main quality sections where which is taken as a reference for the rest of the part of the video right here. So this is the keyframe right over here in the beginning. And as it moves forward, it captures the motion details in the video and then Based on the first keyframe, it actually changes out the visual. So depending on the quality that the uh, uh, encoding is set in well, from the original video, the quality depends. So right now, there's not much of a difference, as you can see. There's again another quality point right here and then more information. Another quality point right here, more information according to that main frame right there. So, uh, so this main area is the keyframe and other is the motion triggers. And what you can also do in lossless cut is select out those keyframes. That is, you can seek the keyframes out. And to do that, you can see that there's the keyframe icons right here. So you can click on it and it goes to those exact keyframe points. As you can see, you get to the quality points right here. So this allows you to start from a quality point and then uh, produces less error while encoding later on as well. So just like this, you can see that you can do frame seeking right here. You can do individual frame seeking just like this, or you can go to keyframe seeking just like this to work around. And I can see that the keyframe depends. So right now in this section, the keyframe is not equally far apart, but that is the nature of the keyframes in video. It saves out the portion where uh, quality actually matters out just like this. So you can go around and see that that is how it works. So you can go back on and seek with keyframes or you can go around and seek with individual frames. And that is how you can uh, seek with keyframes and do individual frame seeking inside of lossless cut. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.